Today in Pixlr, I'm going to show you how to create an image um, that you can kind of overlay one image over another. In this example, I have an eyeball and I've overlaid the city over kind of the color part of the eyeball. I still have the people there and I still have that reflection there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a neat little feature that you can um, use in a different in a few different settings. So I'm going to do it using this image and I'm not going to explain every single step just because um, some of the steps don't apply directly to what I'm doing here. They're just kind of steps um, in the process. And uh, it's, it doesn't have to do with necessarily placing the overlay. But um, if you have questions about steps that I perform, be sure to ask them in the comments. So um, first thing, you know, I just got to put my pictures together. So they're all in one image. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, once I have the image that I want, I'm going to, I found this image is a little bit big, so I'm going to size it down a little bit. We'll go with that. Um, and then I'm just looking at it in kind of a see-through. That way I know where my, where it is. All right. Cool. So now we're, now we're at the point where we really want to add the image. So I'm going to click on my background layer. And everything I've done up until now, if, you're, if you have any questions about that, post them in the comments and I'll be sure to let you know how to do that. Um, so uh, now I'm just going to select the area that I want to. There we go. That's what I want. All right. Um, so once I have the area selected that I want to copy, basically put my city in. And I know it's not perfect. I'll show you how to clean it up in just a moment. Um, I'm going to go over to my layer two. Okay. And. I'm okay with displaying it now. I'm going to come down here to this, um, add a layer mask, make sure I'm on layer two. Okay. But, and make sure I have everything selected. And then I hit add a layer mask and you can see now it's, um, it's kind of created this little eyeball effect. Now it, I know it didn't cover everywhere that I want to, and it covered some areas I didn't want to like up here on my eyelashes in Pixlr. Um, the best way to get rid of this is use this eraser tool when I'm on the layer mask. Okay. So when I have the layer mask selected, make sure I'm on the layer mask, I'm going to use the eraser tool and I'm just going to erase everything that I don't want to display. So all these eyelashes, I, I, I don't want the city to display in those eyelashes. So I'm going to use this eraser tool and just kind of clean it up a little bit. And this isn't perfect, but I think it will give us the effect that we want. All right. And then uh, for anything like, for example, in this area where I didn't really get everything I wanted, just come over here to this brush tool. Okay. I'm going to change the size over to 20 and then just fill it in. Now I know it looks green. If you're not familiar with masking, oh, dang it. I don't like that. Um, if you're not familiar with masking, um, be sure to look up some details on that because if you if you um, intend on really learning Photoshop or even if you're just kind of using Pixlr kind of as a one-time thing because you you didn't have a you maybe you're not a graphic artist but you you know you use it from time to time or whatever um, you really ought to learn more about masking okay because it 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 allows you to do tons of really cool stuff in Photoshop and in Pixlr. So um, anyway, that's, I mean, that's the basics of all I'm going to do here. Um, whoops. So I've got my kind of city skyline that I like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my layer so that it's kind of a little bit transparent. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my mask. So applying my mask goes from having a mask layer and then a regular layer into just having one layer. It, it applies the mask and now my city doesn't even exist even if I wanted it to. So um, I've got my eye bell on there. It looks pretty good as is, but I like to um, to get some of the the effect that I had over here. What, you, what you'll wanna do, I'm just gonna um, flatten this image and then maybe come in here and adjust the color a little bit. So there I have that. And then you could come in here and maybe add in I don't know, some of these presets of your color. I don't know. So I don't know, whatever you like. Um, I can't remember the exact settings I used over here, but that's the basics of how you can add a kind of a, you can put one image over another and uh, make it look like it's um, kind of part of the same image. 
Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you're interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below.